Welcome to Emily and Hector's Retro Reviews. We want to thank all of our subscribers. And if you haven't yet subscribed, please subscribe. So as a thank you to our subscribers, we have decided to dedicate this month to our favorite team of four. The Ghostbusters. No. The A-Team. No. The Beatles. Of course not. The Four Horsemen. No. The Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. We will start off by reviewing a Ninja Turtles movie. So my dad wanted to surprise me in what movie we were going to watch. And I had no idea who it, who was in it or what it was about. So... Without further ado, let's, let's get, get to it. it. Are you excited? Well, I don't know what it is. Like, I know it's a band. Is it like Nirvana or something? Like a toy or something? No! No! What is this? What is this? Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles coming out of their shells? Maybe that's how. <laughs> Look at the dad in the background. <laughs> <laughs> 
think there's serving more than Kool-Aid in the concession stand. Is there anything down there? The turtles must have found Skipping stones! Skipping stones! Skipping stones! Stay down here. Uh, but wait a minute. Where did I come in? Did I? Is it here? Where? I'm lost. I, uh, this is not, this is not my, see, I don't, I shouldn't be here. It's just, it's somebody else, I should be, back. God, snakes, snakes. Flyers, I should be here. Somebody else should be, somebody, I should be in a studio with oh, like, my heart. Oh, oh, my heart. Oh, my heart. Hey, music. Hey, music. Skipping stones! Skipping stones! <laughs> All the kids will cry. Ah! Mom! Mom! Ah, he took his head off! Nah! <laughs> that was an hour and 33 minutes old. But we learned a lot of things. Skipping stones! Skipping stones! So we just saw the movie yesterday. And now that we cleared our minds, we were able to dream about turtles, dream about I hate music, and skipping stones, skipping stones. What did you think of that movie? I think it was okay. I mean, it wasn't really like any other movie I've seen. <laughs> I guess. <laughs> I guess it's like the nicest way to say it. Um, it was kind of different because I didn't know what I was watching. You know, like movies, you know what you're watching because you're like picking it and you know like watch reviews about it and stuff, but since it was supposed to be a surprise to me, I think it was like, okay, it was okay. Um, I wasn't expecting it, that's why I was kind of just like pretty shocked that it was a tour of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, but overall I think it was okay for like tiny little, little kids, like the audience, the little, I think they enjoyed it. Yeah, this, w this movie was not for teenagers, of course. This movie was not for preteens. Mm -hmm. This movie... If you saw all the kids running around, this movie was for that audience, for maybe the five to eight-year-olds. Mm -hmm. This movie was also not for adults. Like, I would not sit down and watch this whole thing. I don't know how Captain Marvelous was able to sit down and watch this whole thing by himself. One of the things I really enjoyed was Shredder. 
he really played a heel, a bad guy. And so he would go to the crowd and he would really just work the audience. Uh, although the song that they gave him, I hate music. It made no sense because the whole time he's trying to get rid of music and trying to get rid of the turtles. Yet he's rapping sort of to a, to a beat. Um, Not I really even a beat. It was it was just like I don't know. <laughs> I really hated the reporter in the in the middle. All of a sudden, I guess for the costume oh, change yeah. or whatnot. He was really bad. Yeah. Oh snakes! Oh no, it's just weird. If it's focused towards like five to eight year olds, eight year olds aren't that dumb. Do you recommend this movie? I mean, if you want to have a good laugh or something and make fun of the nineties, and yeah, sure. <laughs> but what about little kids? You know what? I on I honestly think this movie is still pretty good for little kids. Yeah, if you if you kind of like know the basic Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles and you kind of like know what they're all about, yeah, I think it'd be like cute and like something to kind of just like keep them focused on, I guess, if you want to get, like it's an hour and 30 minutes long and it's like a lot of singing and stuff, so I think little tiny five-year-olds, I think, yeah, they'll enjoy it. Yeah, like I wish I had this on VHS when you were really small. Because watching Elmo over and over and over again was a little tiring. I wish I could have been able to at least toss this in every once in a while, you know? Because, oh boy, that Elmo. This has been our review of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles coming out of their shells tour VHS tape. Join us again for another Daddy-Daughter Retro Review. And since this is Turtles Month for us, we will be reviewing... The 1992 April O'Neil in this fancy, let's call it pretty woman attire. No, ravishing. <laughs> no, uh, people who know the story of pretty woman would understand. It's the pretty woman attire. What does that mean? <laughs> Bye! 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 Skipping stones! Skipping stones!